さればかんやハロー、エブリワン、マイネームはリョウジュンウェイ、テクニカルディレクターオブチャイナモバイルスジョーリサーチインスティテュート。トゥディー、ウィズマイクウォーカー、ロガンイ、ホーエス、ザー、エレスティック・コンピューティング、ティムリーダー、ウィヴィオ、シェア、ザ、トピック、パフォーマンス、アナリシス、イン、ザ、ラッジ・スケール・ディベロップメント。イス、アリオ、シナロ、イン、アワー、Public cloud.、Mm, let's discuss according to the agenda.、Uh, first of all, make a, allow me to make a simple introduce about my company, China Mobile Studio Research Institute. It's responsible for development of cloud computing and big data products. Uh, its total investment, investment more than $3 billion, and、uh, it has now 300 employees. This slide, we, let's talk about the deployment architecture of China Mobile Public Cloud. Uh, so far, there have been two data centers in Guangzhou and、uh, Beijing separately. We developed a product called BCOP to unify the management and the operation among all data centers. Now, each data center contains more than 2,000 physical nodes. In one,、um, in two more, two thousand physical nodes in a data center.、Uh, given OpenStack scalability issue, we split a data center into two regions, one thousand nodes in a region. We also Divide, divide nodes into different zones. You can see there are, for reason, there are high performance zones, low performance zones, and、uh, Windows zones according to different hardware or guest OS type.、Uh, it's notable that.、Uh, There are heterogeneous regions in Guangzhou data center, an OpenStack region, and、uh, an Open Nebula region. Open Nebula is another cloud computer platform. We built it、uh, from 2009. We, we use 34 controller nodes. To manage all the compute, computing nodes, about 650. One region is total 1,000 nodes. In one region, we share Keystone service, MQ, and DB service. Next,、uh, our co worker will talk about the most important part analysis performance result.、Uh, okay, I will talk about the analysis uh, of uh, performance uh, on our、uh, computing platform. Um, first, let me clear that、uh, all the analysis showed,、uh, I will show,、uh, is based on the original neutral.、Um, but actually, we、uh, will use、uh, the SDN 
provider. Uh, we, we, we will use the Neutron by a um, third party uh, SDN provider, but uh, you know, some um, our SDN provider have some problems. They uh, do not uh, give me give us a uh, an uh, feasible uh, product. So we have to uh, only test it um, of the original neutron. Uh, in the earlier morning, uh, the guys of Intel said they uh, start uh, 5,000 virtual machines uh, in, 40, in 40 seconds. So uh, I'm wondering how they do that. Did they have some black magic? I don't know. But in our practice, uh, we start a uh, 1,000 VM. We will close more than uh, five minutes. And uh, actually, I'm not surprised why it will be so slow, because uh, and the whole procedure of starting a virtual machine uh, is very long. Uh, it will take uh, uh, about uh, hundreds of database ac access and uh, tens of message exchange of RabbitMQ and uh, tens of uh, API access. So it's, it's very long. And uh, when we finished the set up our uh, cloud environment, we first do some uh, concurrency test. And uh, these four figures uh, show the result of our concurrency test. Uh, you can see in the, uh, uh, in the left bottom uh, figure, oh, oh let, let, me, let me clear that the, the red means uh, failure and the blue means success. So you can see that in uh, 768 concurrency, there are many failures. And uh, in 2024 concurrency, uh, more than half of the VM started is a failure. So what is the problem? Mm, we think uh, there could be uh, the problem is from uh, from three, three as aspects. First is the API limits. Uh, we have seen a lot of uh, cannot establish a new connection in Nova API logs, in neutron server logs, and uh, the second one is the database limits. We have seen. Uh, we have also see a lot of uh, can, uh, cannot uh, allocate an, a connection from uh, database database pool, and uh, we have see so many uh, database deadlock. And uh, the third one is message message queue limits. Also, we find uh, we find all this in the logs. Uh, like uh, the connection port reaches capacity uh, and uh, timeout on um, waiting for a reply. And uh, uh, the last we have some, we have find some uh, OSL messaging bugs and uh, we we have the patch from Rantis. So, okay, thanks Rantis. Uh, to solve the API limits is very easy. We can just increase the amount of API workers or just add more API nodes. Um, also, we can use a model WSGI and a HTTPD instead of, instead of a Python, Python service. Database is a hard problem. Uh, we, firstly, we look into the max TPS of database in concurrency test. The analysis showed in the left figure. We can find that when concurrency up to uh, 100 and uh, 
the max uh, the max TPS reaches uh, reach sixteen six thousand, and uh, when we uh, when we do the concurrency of two hundred and uh, fifty six or five hundred and twelve, we find the max concurrent uh, max TPS do not increase anymore. So we can assume that uh, 6,000 of TPS is our database limit. The right figure shows the, um, the timeline of the whole uh, 100 and, uh, 512 concurrency. Uh, you can see that uh, almost all the time the TPS reaches uh, more than 5,000. So the pressure of database is very high. And uh, how to solve this problem? Uh, you know, uh, first we uh, let Neutron and uh, Nova use the same database. So the Easy thing we can do is just uh, separate them. Let Nova use the database they are alone, and then let Neutron let Neutron use his own database. And uh, uh, I think we can try SSD because SSD is uh, faster than normal SAS. Uh, MQ is another problem. Um, first, let's look at the mess max uh, message delivery rate of database in concurrency test. Uh, the, anal uh, the analysis shows in left figure. We can see that the delivery rate increased, increasing exponentially. Uh, so that's quite normal and do not show any selling yet. And uh, but we uh, but the uh, the right figure is my uh, is a uh, downloaded from the RabbitMQ's uh, official website. We can see from the right figure that uh, if 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 it's true, um, four thousand uh, forty thousand uh, uh, fourteen thousand message rating message. Per second is it's selling, and uh, in the right um, uh, in the left figure we can see that when we have uh, one thousand and twenty four concurrency, it's almost reach more than um, thirty five thousand. So I assume that uh, actually MQ is uh, close to its limit. So what can we do uh, of the MQ? So um, what I can think is uh, like like uh, I, I write on the t bottom of the slide. So we can increase the size of connection pool. We can separate Nova and the Neutron. Use different MQ. We can increase the waiting time, and also we can use SSD. And oh, okay, this uh, when we separate the database, we have increased the uh, worker of API. Uh, we increase the waiting time, and. Uh, and we fix some bugs. Okay, we then we succeed in uh, 1,024 concurrency. Actually, we ha I have done um, more concurrency tests, but uh, since uh, our neutron is not in, we will not use in product, so I think that uh, don't not, do not have uh, many. Uh, uh, do not have many. Um, so uh, I I I do, I I didn't get the result here. 
Okay. Um, then let's see the uh, another part. Uh, uh, the bottleneck, bo the bottleneck of the monitoring architecture. So that's uh, the figure is our monitoring architecture. Uh, we use um, zero meter Noki Influx DB. Uh, we uh, gathered uh, the the uh, performance state uh, from zero meter compute and uh, send them. Uh, to thermometer collector uh, by using UDP, and uh, collector had sent uh, the metric to Noki, and then Noki store the uh, store the meter to the influx DB. <coughs> mm, but this uh, architecture has some uh, performance issue, so let's. Um, do some do a mass. Uh, if we have sampling in 60 seconds, if we have 25 metric, and we have uh, 10,000 virtual machines, so that means uh, we should store uh, 18, uh, 18,000 and uh, 333 meters per second. So yes, we have run this test, and we find that uh, I have six zero-meter collector service servers. All of them, the CPU utilization is larger than 18%, and uh, I have six uh, Noki servers. Also, their CPU utilization is larger than uh, 80%, and. Uh, we have monitored the MQ uh, uh, the MySQL. We find the TPS is uh, larger than eight thousand, and uh, the traffic of HRA proxy and LVS is more than two hundred uh, megabytes per second. So that's quite resource resourceful. Um, so what can we do to uh, improve them? I don't know. Maybe we can add some cache of Noki, so uh, it will not need to uh, need to uh, access the the index uh, the index database every time. It can he can uh, find the indexer in cache, and uh, maybe we can use SSD of InfluxDB. Maybe the performance can grow. Okay, that's my part. This slide, we will talk about our future roadmap in our private cloud. Uh, our private cloud is larger nodes, about 6,000 physical nodes in two data centers. Each data center contains 3,000 nodes. And uh, we will use SDN solution based uh, hardware devices. I think uh, in China it's the first time in private cloud uh, in, at large scale. And we will use bare metal service based uh, ironic project. It's the first time. Uh, and uh, the difficult, the most difficult. Mm, the most uh, difficult is ironic we are integrated with SDN solution and uh, the SDN solution based uh, hardware devices. I think uh, it is very difficult. And uh, we will use a file share service based um, Manila project. It's also the first time. So. Our private cloud will be online at uh, 2017. 17. So, in the later, at the later six months, we will summarize the 
experience, experiences and uh, look forward to share with OpenStackers in Barcelona. Thank you. You can use the microphone uh, behind you. Um, what was your, um, how was your network architecture? Like in the neutron side, was it L3HE or were you using DVR or um, how was your network, neutron uh, network side? Yes, yes, I, I, I describe uh, first. Um, actually, in my test, we use the uh, Native neutron, and uh, we do not use. Uh, we use VLAN, and we do not use DVR. Uh, we do not use v VXLAN. Um, but uh, actually, in our product environment, we use the SDM provider, uh, the third-party SDM providers, the product. Uh, they are they are uh, solutions use DVR. Okay. Okay, and um, one more question related to the kilometer. Okay. And, okay. Uh, the the rabbit bus, uh, was it separated out uh, from the uh, your control plane, or did you use a separate rabbit bus for Silometer, or uh, it's all same single rabbit notification bus? Uh, okay, I, uh, we, we do not use uh, MQ, we use uh, UDP directly. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. What? I, I don't understand. Nova cells for the oh, control no, no, plane. No, 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 we do not use Nova cell. Uh, I think we, we cannot uh, sit here. <laughs> you said uh, you use Snoky cache. Uh, yes, and you yes. were planning to increase the capacity, how much you had originally and what you plan to increase? Uh, well, I think, um, you know, I, I find in the website of in InfluxDB and uh, it says if uh, we use uh, SSD as the backend, it could uh, store uh, 15,000 uh, me, uh, fifteen thousand meters per second, more than fifteen thousand meters per second. So I think, think uh, if InfluxDB can get this performance, mm, we sh Noki op and uh, a centimeter with Noki should also uh, reach this performance. Uh, did you guys mention what kind of uh, storage you're using? You said two hundred and fifty storage nodes. Um, what what storage is it? Okay, actually we we use the Shipdog. Okay. Okay, thanks. We have two types of storage. Two types of storage. Okay. One is FC Sun. Right? Yes, we, we have FTF is Shipdog. Okay. And then what is the backend of the BM part of this? Oh yes, it's the local VM. Sorry. Yeah, yes, we we just uh, so that's not a production test. We just uh, want to test the, uh, you know, the performance of every uh, every single project. So we just uh, use uh, local VM to do the test. We we do not a similar. We Uh, yes, we have uh, uh, cash, yes.
Do you have any problem? Any question? Yes. Um, in the RabbitMQ um, evaluation, have you um, checked which of the project issued most messages, like Nova or Neutron or Keystone? Uh, well, oh, I'm definitely sure Keystone will not issue messages to uh, MQ, and uh, actually, uh, in in, uh, in our product environment, um, uh, we New Nova and Neutron use the the different uh, MQ, and uh, I didn't compare them, uh, but I think maybe that that's quite a uh, quite equal. Rider, what's yes, I use rabbit, yes. Yes, I use the mirror cues. Uh, my additional question is, uh, so now you mentioned, so you are using the mirrored queue option. Yes. And also, my next question is, so, so is that the active, active style? Yes, I use active, active. Multibus, uh, right. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, that's it. Yes. Did you chart your cloud? Did uh, you chart, did you divide the clouds? Uh, did you scale 1024 as a single cloud or did you shard them? Shard for? You didn't use shell. Oh yes, shell? We, we have two regions. Two regions. Two regions, yes. And then we share a keystone. We share a one keystone. Federated Keystone, just the Keystone is federated. The rest yeah, of them yes, are all yes. divided into two regions. Yes. <laughs> Will you be publishing your results anywhere uh, with the testing and? Um, you know, all of your your all of your data. Will you be sharing that with the community, or will you just be? Uh, okay, that? I think uh, I can share I can share this this data. Okay, mm. thank you. So, um, so thank you.